we can't get the Keenan in. Calling was very, very Irish. So not hit. Whoa. We get them pallets from that field. It's gonna be exciting. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video. It's all going on. This happened this morning. Side number two is well underway. Carl and Henry are up there putting the cable ending and the Yorkshire boarding. The Yorkshire boarding down to where the concrete panel is and then 12 feet up. So just in case we do go to a tub feeder one day or anything, we're tall enough for it to feed out so we're not height restricted. Uh, that there is 10 feet, so we've gone two feet higher just to give us some more space. Oh, the scout bowling over there. Uh, what else is going on today? Guys are pouring concrete because that's what we do here, just keep pouring. How's a eating grub that needs pushing up? That is my new obsession, pushing grass up. Probably need to find a better way than using a uh, old squeegee a clean one like if they're pushing up squeegee when it comes two sides because it is a bit of a job when it's full so you just pour now at the moment we've got to drive and reverse out what we want to do if this is poured is drive through because that's what we're going to do in the future turn around drive through again just to make our life easier so it's reversing so when you go through there whoosh, nice and easy for loading as well it's all about making life easy i just need to pick up some stuff from woody's the mark <sighs> It's like cows know I walk through that one, they need to sleeve it open. They're just so good. Who doesn't love cows? Maybe take that out, yeah? Be a start. Jeez. Bits. Some steel going into wearings. So wearings are here, there's trucks everywhere. The liftery thing, cherry picker, is there. A wearing truck is there. A wearing truck is there. Rob Ashcroft's team with Mark are over there pouring concrete. So we can't get the Keenan in. Calling was very, very Irish. This is how I farm, we farm do it. And a lot of other Irish people. He's just doing, he's just getting a grab of grass and just feeding it to the cows. Just, he had a bit left over this morning, so we made him eat up. But obviously, life just got really busy. It's Friday. We don't pour concrete on Friday if we can. So not hit. Whoa. going on just dropping feed like that just so they've got some food because there's no chance to get the keen in there till three o'clock later the main thing is they've got grub in front of him and me and luke luke are we going over the road yeah me and luke going over the road with my cramp socket gear it's gonna scrape up bed up over the road and drop from it to make our life easier not really the video i'm doing today there's just stuff everywhere concrete mixer there luke's there dad's there I got a wagon and a trailer there. I got a 360 digger there. I've got all our freaking stuff here. I've got mats over there. I've just got stuff absolutely everywhere. It's non stop. Would we have it any other way? Probably. Make my life a little bit easier would be nice. But you know, who wants to be nice? Right, need this. We are Monday morning, just gone 10. Guys smashed it for Benny came day before Saturday and he's put the panels in, so this is exciting. One, two, three, yeah, panels and second panel. Henare and Carl up on there. And they'll have that done today. That concrete set, they want to put the channels into here, which is great. Oh look, look who's coming down in the world. <laughs> Everything's getting on and hoping by the end of this week, Monday's day, we will be set up and the mark will be done. The lads, Ashcroft. We're pouring, slats are in, posts are in. Follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Cows got out because that wasn't tied properly. I think it was from the start. So what they're doing today, exactly the same as what they did on that side. But today, it's a double pour. And that means big time. Lots of pouring, loads of concrete going down. More concrete. <laughs> we're getting to the end of pouring concrete, so I've got to use that as much as possible. You see it's very bright in here as well, so we sorted out the lights, but that's another conversation. Right. Let's see, pouring montage. Here we go. We are back 
into the left hand side of the shed. We're gonna try to get through this, absolutely smash her and go wazam. That's the plan. Dan is back, Barry is back, and James is back. We are back putting the left hand side of the cubicles. There are 59 cubicles, cubicles to go this side. There's 60 cubicles that side. And like I said from the last time, let these guys put cubicles in. I'll milk cows. I know how to milk cows. These guys know how to do cubicles and they absolutely smashed it last time. Uh, we've got a, a couple of little things going on today of what we're going to do differently from the last one. This time, I know it's the second time we're doing this, but a little bit special. Dan, with the man, with the plan, <laughs> is uh, doing something I wanted to do last time, but we didn't, we ran out of time, didn't we, Dan? Yes, we did. Time was not our friend. Rubber in front of here, which by the way, works absolutely amazing. I was absolutely love it. Under here is he says <laughs> we've got the mats to go at the front here again but these ones what are these mattresses you say great question they're gonna go where our drinkers are so they're gonna go in front of our drinkers so when the cows are drinking they can stand here they'd be nice and comfy under the feet and absolutely love it I, I have found that cows have started to walk up the rubber down the side of there so it just shows how much they enjoy it Barry's on we're putting cubicles in perfectly with a piece of string it's funny how no one has figured out anything better to do a piece of string because the old ways work busy day gonna get lots done oh and Mark's here, looking pretty. They put the concrete in, they took the shutters off. One commented when we did the pumping video that the reinforcement, the, the mesh underneath, wasn't on blocks. So all of the mesh underneath is actually on some meshing. Chairs, they call them. Chairs, so they're all on chairs. Give so a 50 mil rise, <laughs> so the concrete goes underneath in there. There we go. So don't worry, Mark did say to me, why don't you film the setting up of how we do it, and not just the concrete in, uh, but in the nicest way. I've got to do stuff for cows at the same time, so it's hard to film everything. But that was a little thing that people were saying, why aren't you doing it? But everything is on chairs under the... Yeah, but mesh was not lying on the floor. As well today, Mark is pouring the concrete here. And again, look, not lying on the floor. It's raised up, all on bits there. So it's actually strong and it's actually doing a job. You happy with that, Mark? Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. Concrete will be in today and then another milestone. And you're finished tomorrow, are you? Yeah. Tidying up tomorrow and then jobs are good. Yeah, we'll strike the shutter off and have a good tidy up and then we'll be done, I think. Sad times. End of an era. End of an era, correct. Right, I'm going to go bed up and scrape up the road over the road. It's about 10 past 10 now. Hopefully we'll be back when the concrete comes to pour. Are you happy with that? Yeah. He's happy. He's measured it rightly. Correct. I'm going to try and come back in an hour and 20. To get all this done because me and Luke are gonna go bed up and scrape up over there. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Yeah. Custom made. So what Mark did was <laughs> make a little bit of a lip so you can tamp it at the same time as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. This will rest on the honeycomb side. That will rest on the screed rail, and that'll give us the perfect recess for you. 23 mil clearance, is it? Yeah, 20, well, we thought it was an inch, didn't we? But it's... We went for 25 last time. <laughs> so we've gone for 23, <laughs> just so we don't have that lip as well. It's crazy how the simplest of inventions makes things work on the newest of sheds. Crazy. There we go, so that's the last bit of concrete that I think is getting poured in this shed. I could be wrong, I'm gonna go over there. Whoop. These little bits to tidy up. So we've got a step that's going there. That's to tidy up, a little bit over there, but then we'll be done. I think, ready for Max to be screwed in at the end of the week. We're getting there. And the team have put the rubber down for the drinkers. So a cow spends 14% of its whole time drinking water. So if that 14% it's on some rubber and it's really comfy, works well. In this here, we didn't have time to do it over there, so they're gonna do that when we get all the cows out when they were milking. And then they're just doing it around here as well, just in front of this drinker. So the front feet are on, the back feet might be on. It looks like a spot for my cow doesn't like going in cubicles, they're gonna jump in there. Hopefully not. But yeah, that's the plan then that's how we're going forward. So what happened yesterday? Lots. That was poured. The little steps over there was poured. Poured in the back of that corner. The lads set all these up. Now they want some mats because they're going to put through there. And this is going to be interesting. Oh, wearing the back to finish this bit today as well. We've got Henry, he's trying to grow a tash like me. He's doing as well as me. 
Yes, love it. Kale, thank you. That's on the outside. So I need to get them pallets from that field. It's gonna be exciting. There's just not gonna be a good way of doing this. Yeah boy, big thanks to Kirby Tires for new tires. Just boom, we got those about 18 months ago. Just, that would have never happened last year or whenever we had the old ones. The racing slicks as we like to call them. Dan just wanted to have a go, so we're just going to straight this up. And while the old cows are in here, they've just gone out. I've just washed this off. My camera battery died. Really good idea. Just let the water go. So fresh water in here, amazing. And just wheeled it around, made sure it's nice and clear. Mad for it. And this is the beauty of it. We'll show you another time. But three scrapes, and you've done each channel. Twelve scrapes, you've done 120 cows. Show you the world, darling. Let's leave it all behind. We'll keep the sun shining and then let it tell the time. Anywhere you want to go. Baz and Dan have just put the rubber here whilst the cows are out. They're going to be so happy. Just a nice bit of comfort for them. Look at this. There's so much room for activities. It's not room, but you know what I'm saying. It's gonna be great. So these guys are working late. They're going home now, and we'll see you guys in the morning. The where is lads? This is their last job to do. Carl and Henry up there looking good. Henry's doing his hair just in case, and then they're complete. That's where he's done, which is super exciting. Mark was done yesterday. You can see what we're doing. We're boarding it off here. It's 12 foot high, so we can fit everything we need to do in inside. And then uh, these big slides are back. Look at this run. That is 32, oh sorry, 32 cubicles running down. Looking good, looking fresh. Early bird catches the worm and then everyone's here. Hang on. And we are complete. Look at all them feed rails. I think that's it. Last little bit. We're nearly rid of cows. That is the end of the video. I'm quite sorry that video is quite choppy, but I wanted to get the left side completely done in one. We do have some finishing touches to do on Friday. Mark is back. Andrew Waring is back. Everyone's back just to do finishing off. And then the next video, cows will be in. They're not in at the moment. It is the 7th of December right now, and they're still not in. We're getting them in this week, so you'll see that. If you've got any questions, put it in the comment section below. And again, a lot of stuff happened in that video, but I just wanted to get it done. We've seen it before, but obviously it does happen, and I like to film it all. Hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel and before i finish i'd just like to say a huge thank you to everyone who's helped me with this shed the wearing lads who finished in this one the easy fix lads and obviously mark the ashcroft boys absolutely amazing couldn't do it without them and i couldn't do it without everyone watching the youtube videos again i say it like a million times but i appreciate it it's absolutely amazing and uh Pinch myself when all the cows are in it's going to be awesome there are still a couple of final touches that i need to do but we're good we're set for the cows to come in Guys, hope you have a great day. I'll see you Friday. Thank you. Bye.